What is going on guys? We are back for another DSP video. We got some dumb stuff to talk about today. First off, it seems like not only is YouTube doing AI chat summaries, it is going to allow community notes. So if you're not on Twitter, what happens is when there's a post, people can fact check it and basically call people out when they're lying. Now the difference between this and the chat summaries is this is not AI generated. This is people actually giving fact checks to other people. And my oh my, this is going to be hilarious when it happens to DSP. So when he goes, guys, I've never scammed anyone. You can put a community note, DSP scammed $2,000 out of his audience to reveal a cat he already owned. Oh man, I just realized too, I can't wait till I have community fact checks on DS politics. Then, ladies and gentlemen, an update on the Detractors tag team. Lord Diaz puts this out. You wanted this. Yes, you. For one week only, take $4 off everything in the store, including the Detractors, They Were Right shirts, hoodies, and much more. Fourth place never looks so good. Don't be a mouth drooling idiot and pass this merch by. Visit. And then he shows his spring creator store. Then, ladies and gentlemen, we had the Detractor on Steam. And now it looks like we have Horror Tales The Beggar on Steam. And I put this out, looks like they made a game about DSP, lol. It even looks like him too with a ghoul face. And then Barrett Wells puts this out, it's an inside look at DSP's wettest dream and it's him getting his ass grabbed by Hulk Hogan. Then we have a throwback tweet from that being said from DSP. This is from April 7th, 2017. In three years, my annual income has dropped by 40%. He lived beyond his means? No. When you look at reality, so many things screwed this stuff up. Of course, nothing's ever his fault, dudes. And then Otter adds on to this. I failed to prepare for the future as I'm all about instant gratification and consuming. Then people have been wondering, how long has he been berating his audience, guilt tripping them? Well, we have a throwback Twitch chat right here. So this is from 2017, again from that being said, Dark Side Phil. The last two streaming days have been pretty bad. Very low cheering, tips, subs. Sucks, I know. Don't really want to mention it, but I'm hoping for things to pick up today. What a guilt trip, you scumbag. Then Poems Josh adds on to the previous tweet. So what if I moved across the country, empty in my life savings and taking out 14 credit cards, while leaving behind a home I was still committed to paying for, I did everything correct. Have you seen this economy? Then we have this throwback video, huge if true, which Darkseid adds on to it. It looks like one of those new Luma AI generated videos, but no, it's just Phil being an alien. Yeah, me just, you know, walking around the house with this thing on. It's like having a direct headlamp, you know, connected to my head, look. Then we get to the pre-stream where it shows Phil's delusion. He thinks all the detractors love his Fan made music. Got a news flash for you, Phil. Anytime anyone restreams you or watches you, they always mute the music or put their own on. Shout out to Raw Phil for his classic jazz music. And DSP in his chat writes They likely listen to it on loop all day. They are obsessed freaks. Which David Davidson answers that with No one listens to your shitty music, Phil. I have you on mute until it's over. Bring back the PlayStation background music. Of course, that's the music he jerked off to. Ladies and gentlemen, one of my new favorite things is the AI chat summary. And we're going to look at a few here. So we have the first one from DeFil and also Evil AJ. People are discussing which games they think will be in the streamer's game of the year, Goaty list. Some people disagree on whether Lollipop Chainsaw will make the list, since the streamer is married and could miss out on the remastered version. Now we have this one, so obviously he's playing Street Fighter here. People are discussing Phil's Diablo 4 gameplay and stream. Some viewers are requesting he change the stream title as it might be misleading for viewers expecting ranked gameplay. I love how you can actually mess with the chat summary by just talking about random shit. Then we have this from Gamerface Gaming. Nightbot, a chatbot that moderates the chat, went offline during the stream. People are sad and are talking about Nightbot's absence while making requests and talking about other things in the meantime. That's sad, Phil, that they love Nightbot more than you. Then the real DSP puts this out. People are reacting to DSP gaming's noise and burps in the microphone during live stream. Some are amused while others find it annoying. Extra Galactic Girl, another one. Another chat summary. People are discussing Phil's relationship and how his lack of true friendship has led to where he is now. 
they are critiquing his, Phil's behavior towards his friends and his recent racist comments about Derek. I'm pretty sure I missed that part about Derek. Because that was probably like a chatter being racist to Derek. But it would be hilarious if the King of Hate came back and was racist towards Derek. Now we have Mirrored Entity. People are discussing Phil's financial issues and the deteriorating condition of his home. Phil needs to prepare for the worst and have an emergency fund for the future. And of course, what would be a DSP stream without Argentina member bombs? First one from Duty. Big ups Argentina for the member bomb. And we see Chi Not Fat with Tranny Porn gifted 50 DSP gaming memberships. And also Duty. Free transsexual memberships gifted 50 DSP gaming memberships. Now one of the things I love too is Phil's dumb quotes. So let's look at a few here. VR is a disposable experience. And then he went on to say, Nobody cares about European football. But remember, you have that huge European audience, Phil. And this is from Dick Stroke and Phil Vlogs. Yikes. Coming from a guy who streams to 5 people on 400 accounts. And then we have Meerkat at the bottom. In total, 2.7 million tickets are available with 2.3 million already being shelled out to the general public and fans of participating teams. Another quote from DSP. I wonder what games are exclusive to Xbox 360 that you can't play anywhere else. I wonder if there's a list that tells you which are exclusive. It's almost if you had Google and you could search things up, Phil. And then talking about his PC problems. If only there was a way to magically come across $3,000 to get a new PC. And Otter points this out. You spent $4,500 on gotcha games last month, you pathetic e-bagger. Then back in the day, Phil used to do his greasy hair and put product throughout it, but he would refuse to tell people that he used product and just say it's water, even though we saw the greasy hair. He says, Remember when I used to run water through my hair? And Poems Josh adds onto it. Phil Burnell discovers showering and washing at age 40, and now he's an expert on body grooming. And this one is absolutely mind-numbing. Viewer, when was the last time you pre-ordered a game? DSP, I don't pre-order. Sometimes I buy a day or two early to preload them. So you do pre-order then, Phil. Then we have Otter talking about his PC problems again. A reminder that DSP spent somewhere in the region of 4,500 on WWE Champions last month. Yet, here he is essentially begging for a new PC from his viewers while they still give him money for WWE Champions. And we know for certain that he is down from the rafters without a doubt. Then people are asking him to mute his burps and everything else like that. And he's done it in the past for like 20 seconds. He's never gone a full stream with doing it. Then he said when he gets his wife's computer, he's going to be able to use his stream deck, which someone donated in the past. And then he can press a button and mute his mic. I'm pretty sure you can already do that, Phil. And it's as easy as pressing a button. Then we got an update on his wife. And does it look good, guys? Crying emojis in the chat for Fat Cat. If Cat is living downstairs, they only have a toilet and sink downstairs. So where is she washing? That is true. That's where the broken shower is at. Also, this lends more credibility to her no longer work in theory as she is exhausted after an hour outside. Yeah, I believe in the last video, DSP said she couldn't run errands with him because she could barely stay on her feet because she was so tired. And then JG Win asked for when the cat co-op stream will happen and DSP said her health hasn't been good. Yep. Those co-ops are over. Then DSP talked about how she has a problem going up and down stairs. I wonder why, Phil. I wonder why. Otter puts this out. If Cat not be able to get upstairs, Phil's infrequent showers, and the pile of trash hoarded in garage and spare rooms, the snore fort must be rather pungent. Then we see Bart Simpson, so fat that he can't get out of bed, and just says, I wash myself with a rag on a stick. Then Poems points this out. Linda, DSP's mom, cooked, clean, sat in the chair watching TV and smoking Newports for the rest of the day. Cat, cooks, cleans, sits in the chair playing video games all day. Then at first, DSP said he's going to use his wife's PC to upload, to stream, to do all his business purposes. But now, he's saying he's going to keep his current PC to upload videos and use Cat's PC to stream. That is right, a dual PC business related expenses, dude. Then someone asked what kind of games Cat likes to play. And DSP said, Cat doesn't like to play high octane and high action games like The Evil Within. And with that being said, he also said Cat rage quit Destiny 2 because it was too hard. Then Phil started talking about things he likes to do outside of stream. Phil's favorite hobbies outside of streaming, hanging with Cat, watching TV with Cat, listening to music with Cat, 
watching the woodland critters. He doesn't have time for physical activities and doesn't have money to go shopping. I have poems Josh. Top 3 things DSP enjoys the most about streaming. Spoilers, he really only names 2 because the script doesn't go with the 3. What are my favorite activities to do when I'm streaming? Uh, let's see. Talking with my audience, playing video games, and having fun interactions and conversations. There you go. Of course, his favorite activity is sitting there, not saying anything, and getting money. Money, money. Yeah, yeah. Money, money. Yeah, yeah. When Piece of Peace puts this out, holy fucking cringe. And we see a screenshot of DSP reacts. And DSP puts this out, Want a good laugh? I almost peed myself watching these clips on my react show this week, and now it's live. Check it out and enjoy. Remember when he didn't have clickbait titles in his videos? And you can see how dead the react channel is if he has to clickbait like this. Because most of his streams now are only getting like 10 to $15. Sometimes it's single digits. DSP then went on to say he won't walk in the forest because he doesn't want to get ticks. And then DSP starts naming Wu-Tang members and mentions the Shizza. And then DSP is hyping the Elden Ring DLC to the moon. He believes this is going to be the biggest thing all year. He wants to max out all the tips, all the super chats. He wants everything. Empty your bank account, 672. Empty it, Jordan. Whatever you have left, you lying bitch. And this is going to save the channel, dude. This is going to bring him back to prominence. And I'm going to laugh so fast fucking hard if this has one of the lowest supports of the year so far i'm gonna laugh my fucking ass off i'm gonna piss myself laughing if that happens and then dsp went on to say he thinks elder ring dlc could be his game of the year and then someone asked them about playing atlas games because i believe there's a new one coming out i'm not familiar with atlas games but apparently there is a new one coming out and dsp thinks only people that are approved by atlas and have to jump through hoops can stream their games Anyone else gets copyright strikes. And then after getting turned on by the trans porn, Prince Albert slash Timbo sends a super chat saying he wants to go to 672's house and take his cock out. And in one of the least self-aware moments I've ever seen, DSP is calling YouTubers stupid for making faces in thumbnails. Do I even have to go into this? DSP, cowboy hat, O face, shock face, smile face, AI generated face. See Phil, the more you go on, the more you become what you hated. Because you try to be like everyone else, but you don't get the recognition, you don't get the fame, you don't get the money like everyone else does. And you've built your own prison, your own hell that you have to live in for the rest of your life. And then in a turn of events, which I find absolutely hilarious, Dark Seed of Flow puts this out. I didn't know that Brian and John Rambo used to talk every week. And he only lost contact with him because his phone got stolen with Rambo's number in it. How ironic would be if Brian reconnected with Rambo again after all of this. I bet Phil would be pissed. And then they announced a Marvel vs Capcom collection. And guess what guys? It's not even released yet and the excuses are piling up. All the people playing Fightcade are gonna buy it and ruin it for people like you and me. And then Capcom is a detractor dude. They said something that's very in the know. Dick Stroke and Phil Vlogs. No way did Capcom describe the rollback netcode as robust. They know. Then DSP went on to say, I was actually ranked number one on MBC for a while, if you can believe it. And we have this from Doomer Ziggy. 2005, DSP is Sabretooth and Juggernaut team. Yes, versus Dark Side Phil, unofficial Evolution X Men Street Fighter Tournament, top eight.
So last year around this time, DSP did his DSP, a digital summer party, and he wants to do it again. However, he can't remember anything about it. So Phil described the summer marathon last year as a summer barbecue party. Sat in his office, ate food that wasn't barbecued. Pathetic. Then DSP, of course, had to go off on people because someone asked him, why don't you use Rogaine to fix your hairline? And this led into him taking shots at Keemstar, other YouTubers, saying how his hair's not that bad and how he's aging gracefully. Now, um, but it's pretty good, I think. It's not that bad. It's called aging gracefully. Instead of denying your age and the fact that you're getting older and you're losing your hair or your hair on your face is getting white, you just, you lean into it. And you say, listen, I don't look that bad. I don't look great, but I don't look that bad. So I'm not in a big fucking midlife crisis situation where I need to start putting Rogaine and dyeing my beard black, you know. You know, like, <clears throat> certain people on YouTube who have giant, significantly black beards, unnaturally black beards that look insanely fake. They look like fucking idiots because they put so much fucking dye into their fucking beard because they deny the fact that they're getting older because they're losers who are so fucking jealous of everyone else around them. Anyway. Then Nintendo is coming out with their Nintendo World Championship game and DSP is jumping on this opportunity to bring back bounties. That is right. He wants to bring back bounties even though he almost got in trouble for them multiple times because he was banning people who refused to pay him. David Davidson talks about dropping the hints for people to wager on him during certain challenge runs with the new NES collection game. The wager is that you say in chat, you will give him money to do something and get banned if you don't give it to him. And then people kept asking him, what's his game of the year so far? And he kept saying, there is no one. There isn't a game of the year so far. They're all shitty. Then mentioned how Elden Ring DLC might be his game of the year, even though it's DLC. And he went on to say, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth cannot be his game of the year because his audience got bored of it by the second area. That is right. His audience determines what his game of the year is based on how much money they give him. Then we have this from his Stardew Valley stream. We see an Argentina super chat. Jordan get help, you need it. Put me on the leaderboard, biatch. Then we have this from Next Gen Guy. Phil, stop complaining. You have a cushy job most people dream about. You lazy son of a bitch. Stop finding anything and everything to bitch about. You are fortunate compared to many others. You are the only one who's to blame for allowing all this money to pass through your fingers. He fixed it. So after my Street Fighter stream last night, I spent over a half an hour redesigning and setting up these animations again for no reason. And I was stuck in here again ne nearly till around uh, 11 p.m. Of course, I go downstairs. My wife's like, why were you stuck up there again tonight? Because it sucks. Every night there's something. But there's a... There's a Corrupted video. So now I have to rip that video out of the archive stream and that takes extra time. Or it's React night, so I have to do the React playlist for the next day or whatever. Every day I get stuck up here. You know, you would think, oh, Phil goes offline around 9.30. He's probably done within a few minutes. No, I'm stuck up here doing shit every night. It's very frustrating because I just want to spend time with my wife, you know? Are you guys ready for meaningful, robust, riveting content? Well, we have this from Poem Josh. Yep amazing content i think i need to see if my air conditioner filter needs a cleaning because this air coming in feels like it's full of pollen hold on let's let's do a live test dang dirty look at that and i just cleaned it not even a month ago look how dirty it is you see that you see those lines that's the clean pot everything else is dirty so that's why i got i gotta go clean this right now that's why i have such bad allergies i gotta go clean it right now <laughs> it's disgusting we've had so much pollen in the last few weeks this thing is full of pollen so let's cl i'll clean that. i'll be right back that's exactly what's going on guys i'm just i paused i'm gonna go clean this to get better air in here. Yep. Then DSP went on to say how the room with Cat's PC has been turned into a storage room. He can barely walk in there. Everything's cluttered. So his solution is to knock down some walls to open up space. And Poems Josh puts this out. DSP thinks he can knock down walls in his house. 
Laugh my fucking ass off. Okay, Phil, have fun with that HOA. And of course, DSP being the bright, smart, big brain, people get to play Elden Ring early because it's open at a different time zone, so people actually get day one views, dude. However, DSP has to have his day off. So David Davidson puts this out. Time for Phil to complain about everyone getting to play the Elden Ring DLC early because he has to take his day off tomorrow. Better pitch in to own the people that play on time. Then we get to the night stream of Street Fighter 6. Oh my god. This is probably his worst night I've ever seen. In the first like hour and a half he won like one set. But he was able to get to his $50 goal which means the gunner glasses came on. However, the rage overtook. The king of hate came out. And then he said, The moment I put these glasses on they started bothering me. Fuck this. Then he rips the gunners off his face. Then it got so bad that DSP is now blocking people who beat him in casual matches. Then he went on to say that all the Kami players that beat DSP are trolls who keep changing their names. We got Nathaniel at the bottom. He just doesn't want to dream about that big juicy butt because it will make Cat cry downstairs. And then he went on to say they're trying to troll me but I'm still winning. Like in Banana Jones, he's at like 10 to 12 wins and like 20 to 25 losses by the way. And then this will show you how bad the night got. You got DJ, someone tell him what to do. Credits the Hate Army for the clip. I really want to know what you do in that fight. Someone fucking give me a solution to Kami versus Zangi. And that was a crazy turn of events. So if you guys like that, click that like, share the video, leave a comment below, hit subscribe, subscribe to my other channels on the details of the end cards. And as always, I love each and every one of you. Hope you're all safe, healthy, and happy. Peace and love.